Hello YouTube, it's Akrit again, back with another video from the home studio, back with another MPC product from Akai Professional. I'm talking about this one, the brand new MPC Studio hardware controller for your Mac or PC. It comes with the full version of the MPC 2.10 software, which means that it has all the new synthesizers and plugins and functionality that we got kind of recently. Honestly, this is kind of crazy affordable for someone new to the MPC system of things. You get a hardware unit, the full version of the software, as well as nine different MPC expansions and three MPC Beats expansions. You also get a masterclass plus the assets for that. And you know, it's just a lot. Let's get deeper into the details of that later. But first of all, we gotta unbox this one. Yeah. So it's not a huge one, but definitely big enough. Full size MPC pads that feels just like they should. And this encoder seems to be exactly the same as on the MPC one and live. We also have just a lot of these smaller rubber buttons that all has a nice click to them. So that's nice. On the back, we don't have a lot, but this is a controller, not a standalone MPC. So we do have a MIDI in and MIDI out on these smaller jacks, as well as a USB-B connection for connecting it to the computer. And in the bag, we have some breakout cables for the MIDI jacks, the USB cable and paperwork. Let's also peel this teeny tiny little screen protector thing. So by now I've spent some time with the MPC studio to try to get to know it and at first glance, it makes a lot of sense for a beginning user who wants to get into the MPC ecosystem without paying too much. And if you are a person who has been working on the MPC Beats software, this is also a really valuable upgrade. For someone like myself, who has an MPC One and a Live 2 since before, this touch strip on the studio still adds a bunch of functionality to the workflow that I can't really get from my other MPCs. It pretty much works as a fader for different parameters in the software. So in this case, I can change my pad level using the strip. I can also assign it to my effects. So in this case, it controls the filter cutoff. I can also use it to play notes, which is fun. It can control my pitch bend, my mod wheel settings, sustain, expression, cue links, stuff like that or I can assign it to the note repeat functionality that makes it work like that. I actually find myself recording more automation on this MPC compared to my other ones. I don't really know why, but it's just cool to be able to write automation, assign this touch strip to whatever you want, and then just record this motion into the sequencer. It's a really straightforward process and a lot of fun. A big part of the workflow of the MPC studio has to do with this mode button right here. You hold that down and you're just switching into different modes on the MPC software on the computer. So you can get access to your sampler, your looper, your step sequencer, pad mixer, and everything like that just from the controller. And the overall form factor and the size of this one is really cool if you want to get a portable computer-based setup but still have the MPC type of workflow accessible to you. And for someone who's just curious to know what an MPC could bring to an existing studio setup, or just wants to get access to all the plugins that this one comes with, this, again, makes a lot of sense. The MPC Studio comes bundled with enough content in terms of projects and presets and samples and kits and expansions to last anyone for a long, long time. Combined with the new included synths in the 2.10 update, like the ARP Odyssey, the Solina, the Hype synth, all of that stuff. Honestly, I don't even know if you need much more than what's being offered here. At least to get started making music in this system. Now let's listen to just a few of these included kits. I put this little finger drumming demo thing together, so yeah.
I've had a lot of fun using this one myself so far and for someone that's new, like really new to the entire NPC ecosystem, this could be a really nice first step towards getting a full size one. Or maybe not, maybe just stay on this one and keep working on the NPC studio together with the software. That works for a lot of people. And since you're using the computer software, you're also able to do stuff like using external plugins inside of the MPC software or switching that workflow around and use the MPC software as a plugin in another DAW if that suits your workflow best. So even though this is not a standalone device like the other MPCs in the product range, this one really feels like working on an MPC when you get into the nitty gritty parts of beat making. It's very, very tightly integrated with the software in pretty much every single way. In general, I gotta say that I'm a big fan of this piece of hardware. I think the layout makes a lot of sense, the pads feels like they should, but it is again a controller so you can't really get access to every single little thing from the hardware unit itself. If you want to see like a visual representation of your audio waveform or see your entire sequence or maybe rename a program or something, that's where you gotta go to the computer software and do a little bit of mousing and keyboarding so to speak. But all of the really fun stuff like recording pads and automation and stuff like that all that can easily be done from the hardware unit itself. You can even go as far as browsing for different kits and presets and stuff from this little display. You can also change your start and end points of samples from this little thing here. You can't see the waveform, but you still get some numbers and, and a little bar to show you where you are. You're able to change the tuning of different samples and such. You can turn your time correction on or off, you can quantize notes, and you can even zoom the graphical interface on the computer from the studio itself. I gotta say that this new touch strip really adds a lot of new functionality to the workflow, and I am kind of in love with it. It would be cool to see something like this being added in a future version of like a standalone NPC, but you know, you can always dream about stuff like that. The NPC Studio also comes with this brand new expansion called Gold Dust, which is exclusive to the NPC Studio, and that expansion in itself holds more than a hundred brand new kits. So when it comes to content, you are covered here, I promise. So we're basically getting a lot of bang for the buck with this one. Sure, you need a computer and probably an audio interface to get going, but you're getting a full version of a really competent software, a controller to get the most out of that software, as well as expansion packs, samples, plug-in instruments and plug-in effects to go for days. And on top of it all, you're getting access to the NPC workflow for beat making. At least as close as you can get to it with a hardware device like this, which is awesome. In my book, this is a good fit for a lot of people who wants to get started producing music or making beats. There are some certain advantages with having a computer set up together with a hardware controller over using something standalone, even though that definitely has its charm too. The MPC Studio won't necessarily replace all of my different standalone samplers and synthesizers and drum machines, but I don't think that's the point of this one. I just don't. So that's my first look at this MPC Studio, the most affordable MPC in Akai's product range. Now, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this one, so if you have anything to share, please do that in the comment section below. And if you enjoy content like this, you could always consider subscribing to this YouTube channel or even checking out my Patreon page, because I do a lot of content similar to this. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, ha det